Yo, what's up YouTube? So today I want to give you a tutorial on how to still play in the Zoe character studio demo. So as you guys may know, uh, if you are fans of playing in Zoe, um, the demo was poured from Steam about a week or two weeks ago, so you can no longer access it um, via the normal method. So today I wanted to show you how to bypass the no license found error. So if you guys still have the files downloaded and you try and click play, see I got the you know this is the original Inside Character Studio demo um, that I have still installed on my computer. And last played was August the 24th, right? That's the last time I played it when it was still working. So if I hit play now. Watch what happened. It said an error has occurred while well, launching this game, no licenses. So, what I really want to show you is how to bypass that and create a shortcut right below it. Um, I call it death test, but not really. It's more like a bypass um, to bypass the um, Steam checks. So, what you do, you go onto Google and then you type in. You type in Goldberg's uh, Steam Emulator, and the f it should be the first link. So Goldberg Emulator, click on that, and you click on Latest Build. Okay. After you click on Latest Build, you just save it. Save it into your download folder. Hit Open Download Folder, and what you need, what you need, is these two files here. These two. and also this one okay so these three files it's called steam uh, underscore api and steam underscore api 64 and what you do you go into your inside directory so um let's see so you go back to the original normal version of the inside character studio demo right click on that you go to manage browse local files okay so this is your Steam library folder. Uh, in my case, it's a D drive and a gaming drive. Your Steam uh, has a uh, folder has all the Steam games in it. So you double click on the folder, go to Inzoi Demo, go to Blue Client Content. No, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, let's try again. Go to Engine, go to Binaries, Third Party, Steam Works. Steam V133, Win64, and what you will see originally uh, it'll be it'll be this. Um, so what you do, you rename that the original file and call it a backup by right-clicking and renaming it. Easy. And then what you do, you select these three uh, files from the. the, the, the from the Goldbird Steam emulator file and then just drag it over. So drag it over like that. And then, and then once you dragged it, it should be in your Steam folder. So and then you rename this again to Steam App ID. Double click inside and very importantly you need to put these uh, couple of numbers. It's a Steam ID number, so 3092450. Save it, and then that's it. So this is the path that you need to put it in. This is a path right here. Steam library, Steam apps, common, blah blah blah. Um, Win64, and that's the three files that you need to put into this folder. Okay. So, what you do now, you right click, add a game, add a non-Steam game, and go back to browse, go back to your gaming drive, again go back to the path that I gave you guys earlier, um, go back to the original uh, root folder, and then Select blue client, you click open, and then there you will have a shortcut uh, of the character studio. Very good, isn't it? 
and then just name it dev test name it anything you want and um, unfortunately there won't be any online functionalities but as of today you look at my timer here uh, you know it's uh, what is it September September the 7th and you still be able to play so I click play now um, you still be able to play completely works fine and I know it's a demo but people want to mess about with it um, so yeah hope this helped you um, you know, I can still still make a character so design and it completely works so yeah hope this tutorial helped you um, you've got any questions <clears throat> please let me know and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye